so we lashed up the drive train. Um, yeah, we just tensioned the alternator with a with a tight on strap. Uh, it's okay. I need to make the rollers use a longer belt to get a bit more teeth. I think I got six or so. That's not enough. Uh, as mentioned before, will be a tension roller going here, and that gives me uh, that gives me more more teeth because I can't run fast. Otherwise, it may. Uh, I need to align. This belt is only for alignment because with a little bit of narrow belt, you see where it goes. Um, I hooked up one of these cheap Chinese inverters. I'm very disappointed with this one. I don't know what it is. It's 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 the most basic thing you can think about. You can't even set motor ratings. Uh, the only thing you can set is the motor frequency. And um, but you can't set any overcurrent. Nothing. It's a four kilowatt inverter. Um, it's a piece of shit, honestly. Uh, it, there's no parameter where you can set the, the motor current, so you can't protect your motor. I deliberately use a bigger inverter, the motor is only 1.1 kilowatt. But <laughs> you can't set the motor current. So this thing runs full current. Uh, there's no way of protecting the motor except the, with the thermal protection uh, in line somewhere. But this is, is rubbish, honestly. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't say a make on it. It's not a young young. Anyway, this thing <laughs> is probably the biggest disappointment I've ever seen. Uh, it's, 30, it's, got, it's got only 35 parameters. And uh, yeah, again, the only thing you can set is the maximum motor frequency. No current. No voltage, nothing. Uh, yeah. You get what you pay for. It's a piece of crap, honestly. Okay. Uh, so, I run it pretty slow at the moment. Because I can't put a lot of force on it. So that's how it's moving. There is still a part missing here and again that tie down strap is only for tensioning the alternator so I've got some belt tension. Seems to run, it runs a bit on the side. I need to adjust that roller. But yeah, looks good so far. No funny noises. Still not finished, but uh, at least we can turn it. No rattling, no rumbling. The belt alignment is fairly okay. Again, we need the we need the tensioners. Sorry that in the makes a hell of a noise. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I me. Mean, I can't go much faster because the drag will make that belt slip and I don't want to kill that belt but uh, looks good so far so we're becoming a little bit braver uh, I'm running about how much is it? 680 rpm on the big roll uh, that's as much as I want to do There is a brace missing here, and uh, that's the reason why it's flexing a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's about 600 RPM on the big roll. Final speed is about 2,500. It's the max speed on the big roll. Uh, I just said a very slow run because of the pulley. It's not driving a lot. That's about 
about 700 RPM on the big roll. 1200 RPM on the motor. Oh, I need to stop that. Looks okay so far. The vibration is just because the alternator is only tied down with the uh, Yeah, with the, with the ratchet strap. Alternator is running at probably about 2,500 RPM. Alright, let's stop that. I'm happy so far. Very good. Alright. Uh, yeah, but the motor is only for spinning the thing. Uh, Again, there is something missing still here, which will come soon. All right, bearings keep cold. They're all cold. It's not properly aligned, but uh, good enough to run it. All right, that's it for today. Good enough dinner time. Karen tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time.